the suave looking men have come out for the Vivian Westwood show because I've just managed to grab another one who goes by the name of DD. DD, what's it short for? Uh, Demeji. Where are you originally from? Uh, Nigeria. Ah, oh, amazing. So you're repping that side as well. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> now talk us through your outfit today. Uh, outfit, uh, just top heavy. I've always wore top heavy outfits. I always wear long coats and then skinny jeans on, on the bottom. So, yeah. I can hear an accent coming through. You're not from London, are you? I'm not, no. I'm from Nottingham. Oh, wow. So do you, are you a regular for London Fashion Week? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm here nearly every year, yeah. And is it a favourite of yours? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, 100%, yeah. And I have to ask you, if you could describe your style in three words, what would it be? Uh, um, <laughs> I would say formal, sharp, and I would say uh, sport looks. Sport looks? Yeah. Yes, that's a popular right now. This it is very, it's very. I was supposed to wear my... Um, trainers actually I was gonna wear my night free runs but I thought I'd go with the loafers since ah, I'm team Vivian Westwood. Make it a bit smart. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and I have to ask you one last thing, would you consider yourself to be a trend setter or a trend follower and why? I do tend to follow trends but I would say I'm a trend setter just for the fact that where I'm from in Nottingham uh, there's not many people that try and dress formal and um, I do get like some quite awkward looks when I dress quite smart for like a casual night out but it's just what I enjoy doing so I don't see I don't see nothing wrong with it. Thanks so much, Didi, for talking to us. My, he my neck hurts a little bit, actually. <laughs> you are a very tall gentleman. <laughs> now, I'm getting ultimate fur envy right about now. I'm joined by a lovely lady called Sarah. Sarah, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Now, I see you've got your camera. So, what brings you here to London Fashion Week? Uh, I'm a fashion student and blogger, so I just figured this is a place to be. Definitely. I mean, London Fashion Week is full of different personalities and different cultures. What excites you the most about London Fashion Week? Personally, for me, it has to be the street style. I just love it. I think it's better than anything else. <laughs> now, we've noticed your street style, so talk us through your outfit today and tell us where we can find the pieces. Of course. Uh, my boots are from H&M, and uh, these boyfriend jeans I got from River Island a few seasons ago. My top is also from H&M, and my jacket is from ASOS. Amazing. Now, if you could give one style tip to the ladies out there, what would it be? Every time you pick something up, make sure it means something. Don't wear something just for the sake of wearing it. Always have a purpose. You heard it from Sarah herself. Thanks for joining us. This is Spice TV. Okay, so day three here at London Fashion Week is officially about the neon colours. First we had the jacket, then we had the socks, and now we've got the trainers. You are killing it at the moment. <laughs> What's your name and what do you do here at London Fashion Week? Um, my name's Ivan and I'm just a... A casual walkabout, if that's even a word. Yeah. Just <laughs> so you're just kind of walking around, getting your feel for London Fashion Week. This is my first time here, actually, so I'm kind of excited. Yeah. How are you finding it? I think it's great. I think seeing so many fashionable people around, you know, seeing so many people with their different styles and everything, it's, it's great, it's great. Now, mm. with the trainers that you've got on now, you look like the ultimate sneakerhead. <laughs> How many trainers have you got at home? Um, see, that would be telling, wouldn't it? So, oh, um, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, your little secret. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Off camera, off camera. Oh, definitely, off camera, off camera. Now, if you could describe your style in three words, what would it be? Simple, plain, with a bit of spice on top. With a bit of spice. And this is Spice TV. You Did you do that on purpose? Definitely. definitely. <laughs> now, talk us through your outfit. Where did you get it from? Um, well, my jacket's from Top Man. Everything's Top Man. My jumper's Top Man. My trousers top man and then Nike high fuses, yeah. Now would you say you are a lazy shopper as in you only go to one shop and then you stay there or do you like to experiment in the high street? No, I definitely like to experiment, definitely yeah. like to experiment. Even though Top Man is my go to <laughs> go to place if it be all but you know, I'm definitely an experimenter, yeah. And can I ask you one question? Are you a trendsetter or a trend follower? Definitely a trendsetter. <laughs> You've got the confidence to match. Definitely. Thank you, Ivan, for talking to us. So we're here at London Fashion Week, chilling as you do, and I bump into a lovely looking gentleman here who is wearing this overcoat that is dazzling the females right now. <laughs> Introduce yourself to Spice TV. Uh, my name's Abby from South London. Uh, South London, and you're up here in London Fashion Week. Are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, it's kind of quiet, but it's all right. It's all right seeing some new people, interesting people. Cool. Now, I'm loving your look. You're like mixing the sartorial with the street. I can know it's a bit of dope, Chef. Talk us through it. Um, do you know what, yeah? You've got to stay true to where you're from and then just try and make an effort for fashion, isn't it? Yeah. And if you have any star icons, who are they? Uh, I would say Tiny Temper. Do you know what? I was going to say, 
Tiny Temple was rocking a look quite similar to this actually. Did you copy him? Oh, uh, you made it your own. <laughs> I, I, I don't watch what Tiny Temple is, but I've met him a few times in it. So yeah. But why is he your style icon? Uh, just because I don't know. Like he knows what he's doing with his um, clothes, and I know his stylist as well. So. Ah, so that helps. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to ask you one more thing. Would you consider yourself a trendsetter or a trend follower? Uh, setter, of course. Setting the trends. <laughs> there you have it. From South London to Somerset House. This is Mercedes. This is Abiola, Spice TV. Now we're joined by a lovely lady who is showing us how to rock a turban oh so well. Introduce yourself to Spice TV. My name is Omoke. Omoke, ah, you're from Nigeria. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you're representing for the Nigerians I out am, here. I am. What brings you to London Fashion Week? Um, I just love the diversity and everyone's just doing their own thing. Yeah. Now talk us through your outfit today, where, do, where can we find these pieces? Um, it's all based on the high street, um, ASOS, Mango, um, Dune, yeah. yeah it's very much high street based. And I'm loving your turban, can you give us any tips for the ladies on how to rock a turban? <laughs> this is just my, my scarf that I would usually wear in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, <laughs> but it looks oh so chic. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's cool, you can rock what you wear in your house exactly. out at London Fashion Week and make it your own. Now if you could describe your style in three words, what would it be? Um, I would say casual, simple and me. Yeah. I like that, it's you. And I have one more question to ask, would you consider yourself a trendsetter or a trend follower? Trendsetter. Oh, really, why is that? Socks and shoes. <laughs> I like. I, I don't really like following my own, um, the crowd. I like to do my own thing. It's all about individual style. Amazing. There, she said it. Umoke, it's all about individual style. Now, as well as having impeccable style, I couldn't help but notice this guy's wonderful moustache. Introduce yourself to Spice TV. My name is Sean Gordon, and I am not your average tire maker. <laughs> Amazing introduction. <laughs> now, talk us through your outfit today. Okay. Well, I have an overcoat, all vintage. Um, my blazer, again vintage, I have a Portsmouth waistcoat, Sean Gordon tie, uh, the Richard tie online, and also I have a vintage Prince of Wales um, trouser, uh, brogue from Ted Baker, and my Homburg is also vintage, I like to mix, up with, mix it up with a bit of modern and vintage, and fuse and create my own look. Now your style is very sartorial, very heritage, what inspired you to embrace this look? Ooh, the early gentlemen of the 20th century, uh, they always inspired me. I love the whole simplicity and the sophistication of it all. It's not just about um, the way you dress, but it also uh, helps you carry yourself in a beautiful, gentlemanly manner. And that's what I like, and that's why I dress the way I do. Can you give a style tip to the gentlemen, or the aspiring gentlemen out there? Always start with your classics in terms of colour and also know your fit. And now it seems that you're a designer as well, so where can we find your stuff? You can tap find my tyres on seangordon.co.uk and also they are selling on Savile Row uh, through Stephen Hitchcock. Amazing! Thank you so much Sean Gordon for talking to us. Now this is probably one of the most unique looks I've seen here at London Fashion Week. So introduce yourself to Spice TV and tell us more about your outfit. Hi Spice TV, um, my name's Courtney Hunt, I'm 18. Um, I don't know, I just kind of freaked together. Like, I made these the other day. Yeah. Three on this, three on my dad's old jacket. That's about it, really. I'm loving the whole grey, silvery hue going on from your hair down to your toes. It's awesome. You're only 18. What got you into fashion? I don't know. I've always loved fashion from little, from watching my mum, everyone in my family, like, always love fashion. So, and my cousin as well. Yeah. Always love fashion. Do you have any star icons that you admire? Um, Audrey Hepburn. That's about it, really. Yeah. Yeah. And what brings you to London Fashion Week? Just to see what it's about. I've never been, so can see what everyone else is doing, what everyone's wearing, what's in style. That's why it. Amazing. Thanks so much for talking to us. This is Spice TV.